Here's a GRE quantitative comparison question. Let's take a look. In City X, the range of the daily low temperatures during June 2012 was 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and the range of the daily low temperatures during July of 2012 was 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So we want to know what's greater. Quantity A, which is the range of the daily low, te uh, the daily low temperatures in City X for the two-month period from June 1st, 2012 through July 31st, or 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, well, let's talk about the word range here. What does range mean? Range simply describes the distance between the highest and lowest point in a data set, right? So here we basically have two data sets. We have June of 2012, which has a range of 20 degrees. That means highest minus lowest is 20 degrees. And we have July of 2012, which has a range of 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Highest minus lowest is 25. Now let me ask a question which might actually give away the answer here. Do we know how different the months of June and July were from each other? We don't. All we know is that within June, the temperatures uh, ranged by 20 degrees. That is, the smallest to the largest was 20 degrees. And in July 2012, it was 25 degrees. It could well be that temperatures in June were freezing and they were within 20 degrees of each other, but temperatures in July were scorching and yet they were 25 degrees with each other, uh, within 25 degrees of each other. Another possibility is that they were almost exactly identical, but July had a little bit wider of a range. So if we're looking at quantity A here, what quantity A is saying is, what's the range for this whole period? So if we put all the temperatures from June, ju June to July together, what would the range be? Well, there's no way for us to know. Right? Because as I just said, it could well be that June and July are very, very far apart. It could well be that they're very, very close together. So if I want the range of this entire period, I would have to know what the numbers in that period were, and I don't have them. So I can't compare it to 30 degrees because it could the range uh, could be a minimum of 25, could be a maximum of anything. Right. So the correct answer here is D. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.